Staying healthy on 7 News, it's an option that more and more moms are considering, using donated breast milk, or in some cases, being a donor themselves. And there's a special need for preterm breast milk. As Christine Chang shows us, it's changed the perspectives of two moms who never met. For this mother of three, Leah um, is our third child. She was born in the first week of January at 32 and a half weeks of gestation. Michelle Davis had more than enough milk, but baby Leah was only eating a fraction. To establish my supply, I was pumping seven times a day, and I was getting anywhere from six to ten ounces. Enough to fill this freezer twice. I had an incredible amount of milk, and I wanted to give it to families that would make would need it. And they do. At Mother's Milk Bank, there's plenty of full-term milk. But when it comes to preterm, like the kind Michelle's been saving, on this day, we found just two bottles. The difference is a higher protein count and also some of the micronutrients, like magnesium and uh, calcium. Those are very important nutrients for preterm infants. While preterm babies can thrive from special infant formula, some can't. <laughs> Today was May 4th. Gavin was born in January at 24 weeks. The main concern here was the development of his lungs. I was not prepared for any of this like I thought. I didn't get to do birthing classes. I didn't get to any of those points. I just started showing, really. Meadows was at first hesitant about donated breast milk, but after some time. It was a huge change when he started getting the milk and just started, he just started getting so much better. And even though Davis and Meadows have never met, there's a special bond that'll stay with them forever. Why not help other, other families and moms and babies? Christine Chang, 7 News. Davis says the process to donate was easy. There was a phone interview along with some blood tests. So if you'd like more information on how to donate, we'll have a link to Mother's Milk Bank on the DenverChannel.com.